And one thing before I continue, if you have this on, you can see that you also can have the sent through one of the mix buses on as well. And that means that you're going to be getting a duplicate of the sound. So be careful with that. Okay, now that we understand a little bit of how, how this thing works, let's get some mixing going. The usual is going to be first laying down some markers. I already I already inserted the first one, which is going to be uh, the starting. It's the starting point and the verse. That means that we're going to be using this uh, section to mix the drums because that's where we actually just got drums. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Now it's gonna it's gonna do exactly what I wanted to do. Here we go, girls and boys. Let me bring my face back. There you got it. Hello. I'm gonna address first the equalizer on my kick drum. Let's solo the kick. There is a little bit of honkiness. I like the tone and the vibe, but there is a little bit of honkiness on the kick. So we're gonna work with our low mids, which is here, girls and boys. And I don't know if it's possible for you to see. Let me. See. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger so you can get a much more. Sorry about that. There we go. I'm gonna try to make it bigger. And again, this is actually part of this this whole thing. Appearance, size, and scale. Let's increase it. Something like this. Rack. Yes, that's a little bit more visible for you. There you go. Perfect. So here we go, girls and boys. We're gonna be working with the, the low mids. But first, we're going to do some cuts. I'm going to remove some of the extreme low end. Here we go. Not bad. Now, let's analyze the, the sound of our, our kick. As I said before, there is some form of, con of honkiness that I don't like. So let's sweep around the usual technique uh, to find where the problem is. Here we go. I am um, divided between this area here, which is some, somewhere around 500, 500 hertz and somewhere around 300 something. Let's give it a try again. Not bad. I think that this is a much more problematic area, but let's compare it. And for that, we're going to do something new that it's part of this new version of Mixbus. We're going to click here, girls and boys. We're going to save this because this is called Essence. This is awesome. In mind that you can have uh, different uh, combinations or different uh, parameters. I'm going to put it differently. In mind that you can have access to different mixes within the same project and you can switch between them with the click of a button. That's fantastic. We're talking about uh, equalizers, sands, compressors, and even the faders. Everything is stored and you can switch between versions quite easily. So let's say save this one and it's going to be kick. I'm going to save it like uh, mix one or main, main mix. Because we're going to use the other, the other guys as references. Done. Now let's see. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna move the frequency range that I'm cutting to the one that I found a little bit problematic somewhere around this area. Okay. Now let's save it on uh, number two and let's call it alter a uh, kick. Alt. There it is. Now let's compare it. You know what? I think I like this version better than the other one. Let's analyze it again. In context. First, the main.
just as a reminder, I gotta store it again because I save it with the solo on. So we should be, that's something that, that to keep in mind. Once again, here we go, from the top. I'm gonna tell you this, Gorson Boys. I prefer uh, the alternative rather than the first one, the main. So I'm gonna overwrite main by cli right clicking on it, clicking on the store, and yes, overwrite. And yeah, it's gonna be my main mix. Look at this. Now both of them are basically the same. That's awesome because we can actually have comparison points for basically everything. And you got up to eight different mix, uh, mix alternatives per project. That's great. And I would love Logic to have something like this because it's quite easy to change and swap around. Perfect. Now, coming back to the kick. Now that we got a ballsier, cleaner sounding kick, I think that we can increase the, the, the clickiness, aka also known as the definition. We're going to be dealing with the mid highs. Let's see. I think I went a little bit overboard with the gain, but I love the the added attack. Let's see. Now, let's see if we can make the sound of our kick drum to be a little bit bassier. But we're going to increase the low end of it. We're going to be working with the low low register, the lower band, girls and boys. And let's try to add some weight to the sound of our kick. Here we go. Here's the thing, I don't know if what we're doing is increasing, well, it's obviously doing something, it's quite clear, and we're getting something that I consider to be better. The issue is that I don't know if we are just adding more extra low end to the sound of our uh, mix by just uh, by doing what we're doing. Let's 